Hello everyone, my name is Gedmina, I'm part-time Amazon FBA seller. I know it's been a while, but there you go, there is another retail arbitrage video for you. So what I'm gonna do, I will take you with me to retail arbitrage sourcing and I will share all of the profitable products that I managed to find and hopefully we will find something. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. <music> So first find this product discounted from 30 to 15 pounds. So I do open seller central app, scan the barcode, find the listing, enter the cost of purchase, which was 15 pounds and just quickly analyze that. And it shows my profit of over six pounds. I do the same with buy.go, just scan the barcode, buy price of 15 pounds and analyze. I can see that the return on investment is 28% over six pounds in profit. Scroll down to see the estimated sales. I can see that this product is a bit slower selling. Open the charts and just quickly look through the charts. I can see that recently the bestsellers rank increased. So I'm just gonna investigate that a bit further. So I will look at the 30 days uh, chart and I can see that this, this product is still selling. However, bestseller rank is increasing, which is indicating that sales are decreasing so i'm still gonna pick three of these units um nice profit and it's only three so i'm still positive that this product is gonna sell so this harry potter set is a good example of the products that you should be very careful when buying it um, i'm just sharing this i haven't picked up any of these products it has ip alert and as you can see from the buy box uh, buy box is exactly the same as amazon's offered price even though there is a, a fb sellers on the listing i would just stay away from the listings like that just to avoid yourself getting ip complaint just a quick example so I find this product here discounted from 16 to 4 and there is a couple more there as well. I believe I picked 9 in total. So I do sell our central app as always. Enter the cost of purchase of 4 pounds analyze and is close to 2 pounds in profit. Not bad. Do the same with buy with go. Buy price of 4 pounds analyze and 21% return investment just below 2 pounds in profit. I can see that this product was selling for 12.99 as well and the price just recently dropped to 9.99 open uh, 180 days chart as well and i can see that this product was selling for even higher price so what, would what i'm gonna potentially do just gonna hold these products until hopefully price gonna recover to make even more profit so i'm just picking all of them a uh, very nice find nine of in total and there you go another find this product discounted from 12 to 6.75 open seller central app again scan the product enter cost of purchase and over seven pounds in profit not too bad do the same with buy go analyze the product cost of purchase and analyze close to 50 percent return investment a bit slower selling product however i can see that this product was selling before for much higher price and hence the reason it wasn't as popular however once the price decreased you can see there is more movement in bestsellers rank so i'm kind of expecting that this product is going to be selling even better just checking the average fb price as well and seller's position i can see that there is few sellers however they have quite a low stock and i'm still happy to pick these products because i'm expecting that sales going to increase because price is dropping as well so i picked dollar three units and as you can see they were even five pounds each instead of 6.75 not too bad okay so that's me out of the tesco's i managed to find several profitable products on the way out i managed to pick up another one uh, i'm not going to share the product with you it's a bit slower selling one so i'm just going to keep that to myself <laughs> if you're wondering what app i'm using it's called buy.go Go. Um, it's amazing amazing sourcing tool especially great for a retail arbitrage as you've seen it all offers a lot of amazing features such as it works out your profit for you excluding all of the amazon fees um, shows estimated sales of the product it shares best sellers rank of the product you can check competition and their available stock average buy book price all of that in one app and it's very very easy to use and you also get google chrome extension if you do online arbitrage too so you can get two in one i will leave the link in the description section below uh, you get two weeks free trial if you want to try that please go ahead and do so it's amazing i've been using it for over 16, 16 months so since i started amazon i used it since and no regrets i'm loving it anyways without further ado i'm just gonna hit another tesco's and i will see you there okay i'm just arrived to another tesco's so without further ado let's just go and see if i can find anything in there <music> Okay, 
this so first part of product uh, the soft ties discounted to seven pounds and fifty uh, there is quite a few variants so i picked up the spider-man and scanned it using seller central app cost of purchase of seven pounds fifty again open buy but go do the same analyze i can see the return of investment is 30 percent close to five pounds in profit nice estimated sales currently product selling for 79 17.99 however i seen that this product was selling for a lower price before lowest price i could see was 13.99 so what i like to do is always reanalyze using the lowest price just to make sure if the price due to the increase i would still be making money and i would still be making money so i'm quite happy to pick up this product to pick this product up okay so the different variant a captain america again seller central app just scan the, scan the barcode find the product and as always enter the cost of purchase of seven pounds and 50 in this case and analyze so it brings close to, uh, over two pounds in profit do the same with buy would go seven pounds and 50 you can see that the sales price is different here and again nice return investment and nice profit so what i'm gonna do is just gonna quickly check estimated sales and just go into the charts and see why the price is a bit different so i can see that this product was selling for a lower price before that i could see that their buy price is very and is selling between 14 to 17.99 as well however i picked the lowest selling price again 11.99 just making sure i would be making money in this case i would be losing some money however i'm still happy to pick it up just hopefully i can sell a couple of them at higher price and yeah not too bad and once again i managed to find the same same toy like in the previous one so i picked three of them again too okay so that's me out of the tesco's number two and as you seen managed to find a couple of profitable products i'm not gonna go to any more stores just two stores today i also gonna swing by the couple of other stores but i'm not gonna record it just because i'm gonna be picking up some replenishable uh, items you know so I will be picking up more stock today however you know not too bad for two stops i spent close to 200 pounds i believe it was 190 and estimated profit from selling these products at the current price would be around 140 pounds but that could possibly change even though 100 pounds i don't know it probably has taken me around an hour with the fact that i was recording this video otherwise it would have probably taken me like 30 minutes in e like 15 minutes each store plus traveling to from store to store another 10 minutes or so so you know 40 to 45 minutes of sourcing almost over 100 pounds in profit is not too bad in my personal opinion anyways i'm gonna be recording more videos like these you know short short videos i'm gonna be also recording some unsuccessful trips because you you know sometimes you don't find anything and i just want to share the realistic overview and the realistic of expectations of actually sourcing uh, in retail stores so you know it's not always as simple as going to store and finding profitable products it can be time consuming and sometimes you might not find anything at all as well so if you're enjoying these type of videos and if you want to see more of these please do like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done already and again if you have any questions drop a comment down below just engage with me i love chatting with you all personally also have a facebook group completely free to join there is already over 200 active members so if you have any more questions you want to be part of this community uh, please join it's very very fr friendly community a lot of amazing people in there i will also leave my personal instagram and twitter uh, link in the description section below if that's the way you prefer to connect or chat please do so uh, anyways thanks a lot for staying till the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed have a good one take care bye bye